Hi, it's Sincerely Ashley B. I'm here today with the How to Rep Your Shayla tutorial. Now, if you are a Muslim like me, and especially if you just took your shahada or you may be further along the line, whatever, I know that I had a lot of difficulties with trying to find more creative ways to tie like my little, my Kimoras, my Shaylas, my hair wraps, etc. And I looked at the YouTube channels and it was just like, y'all right, it's not here. They'll have like the, the fast music playing and just with the Shaylas and I was just completely lost. So for like forever, I just had like my little basic little tile, like the little pen and, and it kept slipping. But eventually I kind of figured out a style that worked for me and then I kind of branched off into little turbans and wraps and things like that but I know how difficult it can be because you see these really cute pictures like oh that is cute I want to wrap mine like that and you go home you try to wrap it and it's just like a flat out that's a no for me dog so um to do this is it's not as difficult as you may think it's very easy I have my pen now you can use two pens, but we're gonna crawl before we walk. So I'm gonna use this little pen right here. And I love this pen because it gives you a little bit of comfort. You don't feel like they're safety pen filling. And these are really cheap. You can go to any Islam Islamic store and find them. And then I have my Shayla, which oh, I just love mustard. And I think I probably wear this color Shayla way too much, but it just adds like the perfect pop to every outfit that I wear. Of course, I have my black one, but like when I'm like doing color, oh, look, so cute. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. But also on the sidebar, I know some of y'all like to have your little baby hairs out. So I got the little cream of nature. That's true. I'm not putting my baby hairs out because I ain't got that type of green of hair. Unless, you know, I got my perm and it's all slicked down, you know. But that those are not those circumstances today so i won't be using the edge crawl i'm gonna keep my edges covered up and i ain't gonna turn into the real muslim and like no uh sisters you know keep them baby heads up you know you're not supposed to hear those out you know i am not here to judge anybody but you know if y'all gonna have them out you know at least have them like swoop and what you want to do and then like i said i use a little cream of nature one if i am going to like kind of have my hair slicked down a little bit more so we're about to get started. I swear I'll take a step by step. It's not as difficult as you guys think it is. Like bam, 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 bam. One, two, three. So when I do my Shayla's, I like to have them like whatever. Like if it's a tag or something on this end, I like to start with this end because it's easier to cover up. And a Shayla is going to be longer than a Kimar. A Kimar is a lot shorter, so you can't do the same reps that you would do with your Shayla with your Kimar. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on my head. Oh. And I see, I know you, I have this on, I have this on for two reasons. One, this ain't thing, whatever. But two, I have it just because you, I don't want to have my hair out, you know, YouTube channel. But it also kind of like keeps your jaw slick down or whatever. But you don't have to, you can just put your hair back in a ponytail, which I have mine full back in a ponytail underneath this. So I'm going to take this, take my Shayla, and we all watch the regular YouTube, the other YouTube videos. This is the part where I got like the music, like ding, 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 ding. And it's like, it just won't, but I'm gonna walk y'all through because that's the whole point of me making this video. So I can help people who was like me when I first took my shahada and I had to wrap up and I wanted to look cute and couldn't nobody show me. So I don't know if you guys noticed, I took this all the way down to the end. You see, I didn't do it halfway. It's not like how when you wrap your chemo, it's how you guys like when you, you know, when you do your chemo, you even it out. You don't do this like that. You take this all the way to the end. Grip it around. Now, I got a big head and I got a big forehead, so I kind of bring it down some because it's going to slide back. So, you kind of want to pull it down more because eventually it will slide back a little. So, that way, you know, you don't have to have, you know, your hairs or whatever out. And you see, I have a pull down like this. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take one of this, this side over here, pinch it, bring it over. And the reason I, I pull from that far is because I want it to be tight. All right. Now... Take my pen, pop it up, and I'm going to put this pen through all of the sides that I folded. So that way it ensures that it'll be very tight. Now watch your fingers because, girl, listen, there's been several times I done got an involuntary little pen cut. So we're going to do that. You see here, you know, all right, we're making some progress. Now I'm going to take this longer side, 
Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna wrap it around. Just wrap it around. Look at my lashes, they all peeking out the side. And it's like when you really got your face beat and you're doing this, I be feeling like the one again. I'm trying to tell you. And I really like this material. So you can use other materials, but I really love this material because it's like it kind of hugs to my face and I love like the texture of it. So now I'm gonna take it over my head like this. You see? And then what I'm going to do is, some people you can move it forward, but I'm probably going to keep it a little bit back, back today. But if I wanted to, I can go back around. And take it. Take this piece. Like I said, this material hugs a lot more than some of the uh, Shayla material. So, you just, you know, kind of adjust it to where you want it. I'm pulling everything down and around. So now we kind of fold this under. You don't have to fold it under because you can keep it kind of like that, but I don't want mine up there far. So I'm going to fold it under. See? Now I'm going to go under. Now, it's two things. You can use a pen, a single pen by itself, and pin it on the side. I do that sometimes. But let's say, you know, sometimes you're a little shortage on pens, you know, you buy 50,000 of them and by day two, you only can see one. You feel it sticking out the bottom of your foot. So, I'm going to take this underneath here. I'm going to unclip it. And be weird. Sometimes it's a little harder to get it unclipped. Okay, here it is. Now, I'm going to take this piece right here. This is a good tip for my ladies that be doing photo shoots too. If you forget your pen. And you still want that type of look. I took it and I just pinned it through here. And one side, I'm taking, I'm going to pin it, pull it down. Ta-da! Here goes my Shayla. Now you, sometimes scarves are going to be a little longer, so you get your little dangle on. Or you can like take it, flip it back if you want to do something fancy like that. Or if you kind of want to bring it around a little bit more, pull it down, you could pin it. I ain't doing it, but you could pin it, but... You got to see it's nice and cute. You don't really see your pen like that. Like I said, you could go iron my little, little, little wrinkle, but if you want to steam your little wrinkles out, iron it out prior to putting it on, you could do that too. But let me move back a little so you guys can see a little bit more. This one's a little longer. But this is just how you, see, it wasn't hard. It's how you wrap your Shayla. Like I said, if I wanted to, I can take it or, you know, if I wanted to, I could stick that little piece in there and it kind of, doesn't dangle as long, but if you want to do that, you can. I don't typically do that. I just have it, like, to the side. And you can do the same wrap, but, like, longer shayla's. And then it gives you, like, a cute kind of, like, cake look when it's, like, more material. This one's a little shorter, but I have, like, longer ones where I can go like this. You know, even with this one, you can still kind of do that, but it's not as long. But you can kind of have it, like, dangling over your shoulders, too. So that is how you wrap your shayla. Um, I'm going to do more tutorials. I, maybe next time I'll try to do a little longer Shayla. I got this really pretty uh, gold glittery one. I may do one with that. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do like hair wraps, turbans, all of that. But I just really wanted to get this one down because um, one of my friends was asking me like, when you going with this tutorial? Like, oh. So I finally got around to it. And y'all like my lip too? It's from the lip bar. It's called Prima Donna. And I use Max Night Moth Lip Liner. They ain't got nothing to do with the shade of the story, but you know, I wanted to have a cute lip once everything came together full circle, you know, give the full presentation. So hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. Hopefully it was easy. I tried to keep it quick, simple, not too long. I know people be sitting for like 30 minutes showing you how to tie one shade lip, but I kept it like under, what is it? Six minutes? They ain't too bad. It's under 10 minutes of how to wreck the Shayla. And if you have any questions, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Sincerely Ashley B. Check out my website, www.sincerelyashleyb.com. I'll make sure to put it below the video. Um, you can shoot me an email, all that. And yeah, so I see you, I'll see you guys next time. And if you have any requests, you know, just send me an email and I'll see what I can do. All right, bye.